something is at my house um i think we all know what it is let's be honest um another horse shock but it is here ollie is here and do you know what is like the busiest day as well there are so many vans here so i don't even know if we'll get it off without an issue he's tucked down a corner bless him ollie what you got for me another one again another one again we're so used to this like van now Oh wow, hey mate. He's lovely, isn't he? Go on, I've got a stable this way. Looks lovely, doesn't he? Little Barbie pony. Got one stable left next to Kelly. That's it, yeah. She's met her daddy. Yeah, you're right, Pablo. Ethan's trying to name him Pablo. So his name is Spargo, which is absolutely awful. And it's also not too far removed. Spargo, Pablo. Sounds similar, doesn't no, it? No, it doesn't. Pablo. Not one part of that sounds similar at all. Pablo and Spargo. But I know what's next now. Now the stables are full. It's cows and... Um, We've got a goat horses. pen. Goats never. are going to have to be next. You've got to prove you can cope with these. What do you mean? Prove I can cope <laughs> with these? I've been doing three. I'm, I'm responsibility up. Me. Can we just get on camera what you just said, please? Could you so come... watching this. Yep. It's so much better knowing I haven't bought it. Yeah, so wh whose bank did this one come out of? Yours, and I'm going to sleep easy tonight. Thank you. Hear that, everyone? Hola! <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, meeting the family. Already Lorenzo's been a little sh chase him, and then almost got kicked in the head, so. Here we go, a bit of action. It's going well. All my makeup's like melted off into my face. Oh, here we go. Don't break my fences. Oh, look, she likes him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> We're going to meet officially for the first time in the same pen. Oh, this bit's always risky. I'm not going to lie, just in case. Like, I don't want my Shetlands to get hurt. <laughs> Poor Tommy. Poor Tommy. Oh, yeah, here goes Callie chasing him. Shock. Imagine my shock. Don't fight. I'm just going to narrate because you can't really see. They're all <laughs> running. Going crazy. Oh, Lorenzo, get out of the way. Oh my god, he's like my baby. I'm so scared in case he gets hurt. Leave my Lorenzo alone. Eh? Callie just winds him right up. Just don't let him near the Shetlands. Callie's our um, boss, and I need to let you know that I'm the boss. She ain't letting no one near her Shetlands. Those Shetlands are like her babies. Genuinely, you'd have thought she birthed a Shetland. She is that protective. She's low in. Lorenzo, be careful. To be honest, this new one's just trying to chill. He's just trying to eat, and Kelly's like, let's go, mate. She won't let the Shetlands near him. Yeah, he's chill, look. Guys, stop what you're doing, even though what you're doing is watching me. So don't stop watching me, but watch me uh, here instead of this. Anyway, okay, guys, I have some important news for you. If you are sick and tired of carrying heavy bags out of your car every time you want to do the food shop just to cook meals that are going to take you absolutely ages, I have something for you. Bye! Dinner's in 20 minutes! Hello Fresh, you've kindly given me an offer of 60% off your first box, 25% off for the next two months and two free gifts. Therefore, if you are a uni student, a full-time worker or a busy mum and you're just trying to find a way to make sure you get all of your nutrition in but you don't want to spend hours cooking, then HelloFresh is for you. HelloFresh also allows you to be creative with the meals that you cook and things that you possibly wouldn't pick up from the store yourself to cook at home. Another great thing that I love about HelloFresh is that you can choose what kind of recipes that you like. Mostly meat, veggie, family, quick cook, calorie smart or pescatarian. Straight to my front door, no messing around, no Tesco trip, no trying to find a car parking space it's right here just walking down to check on the horses now it is 8 52 borderline 9 p.m now yeah, just gonna go check them and i can see like in my neighbor's well neighbor's 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 garden like kids bouncing around in like swimming pool and pool floats and it just brings back mems from like being 15 and i think it's so cute when am i realistically ever just gonna jump in a pool and have fun again like i don't like getting my hair wet now but anywho gonna go do with my horses i'm a grown-up i got responsibilities now oh slay i think maybe not i don't know uh, the lighting. I thought it did sink, but maybe it didn't. Rabbits! They're so cute. Like, old dogs are going. <gasps> hey guys, have we all been friends? <gasps> I love it. Look at all my ponies. Yeah, I've not really got much to say. I'm not being funny like this. We've all seen a fair few vlogs from me about buying another horse. Realistically, is this old news or new news? What is new news is that I need my teeth whitened, but <laughs> we won't go there. Hello, gonna focus for me? <gasps> hey boy. See, the prettiest part about him is on the other side, which is his mane. Look at that mane. Stunning, stunning. 
my mum did those plaits. And then obviously Callie has sectioned off her Shetlands and possibly won't let them near him so we're, we're on a renaming the horses situation Callie is staying as Callie she's too far gone Callie is Callie Lorenzo is Lorenzo because he's Lorenzo um I didn't like the name when I got him though to be fair but it's stuck so that's what he is let me put you on here somewhere stable <laughs> do you get it somewhere stable <laughs> yeah anyway I was gonna call Dora. Well, I keep calling her Bella. She's not Bella, but I'm like, oh, is Bella done this? Who's that? Like, who's Bella? She's Dora. So I might just have to change her name to Dora. Oh my God. Bella. I might have to... <laughs> I might have to change her name to Bella. But to be honest with you, I'm just going to call her Feral Beryl because that's what she is. She only lets Tommy touch her. He's my loan. Tommy helps me out. He's great. I don't know. Feral Beryl slash Bella slash Dora. And the new one, he's so beautiful. He's stunning. He's a Palomino. Like, he is the business. And someone looked at him and went, Spargo. Sorry, what? What? That's offensive. How does that even pop, in, like, pop into someone's head? I've never even heard that before. It is a bit funny though, because you know West Ham, whatever, they've just won their like, league or something. I don't know, they won in Prague. So whatever that does for them. We've got a little bit of a Spanish thing going on. We've got a Lorenzo Adora. So we decided to keep like the Spanish thing going. So Ethan wants to call him Pablo and I wanted Santi or Cruz. I actually think Cruz suits him the most, but Ethan said Pablo and I'm not against it. And the only reason why I'm like leaning towards calling in him it is because his owners sent a football because apparently he likes a football and i don't mean a treat ball for all these equestrians watching i mean an actual football in with his stuff i'll try and find it when i go up and that is the only reason why i'm like oh it's actually quite funny he's calling pablo now but yeah i know you shouldn't rename horses because it's unlucky but what's the what what's the worst it's gonna do you're gonna you're gonna my headline is that what you got in store from me? None of my animals respond to their name anyway, so I may as well call them what I want. Oh my god, he got his chopper out earlier. Like his dong. And it's huge. I thought he was gonna bloody mount my Shetland. And I thought, Jesus Christ, gonna bloody break her back. Anywho, don't know if that's appropriate for YouTube, but yeah, yeah, there you go. It's also kind of like a sad video because this will be like my last buy-in video because my stables, I have four stables, <laughs> hey dogs, and now four stables are taken up. I could always put the shetties in together, but I don't think they like it, hence why they're in their own ones. But that remains the goat pen. Oh. We have a goat pen. Interesting. I'm gonna show you the football as well. By the way, I am wearing clothes. It's just a dress. Yes, yeah, so this is what you come with. Sorry. Oh, Rolo's actually got tech with a football. Rolo, Rolo, Rolo. Okay, cool. Rolo. Let me let me show him the ball, man. Rolo. Stay. Well, I was gonna do like 20 kick-ups then, but he got in my way, so I'll just have to show you like 20 kick-ups another time because the dog ruined it, so. By the looks of it, Rolo wants to be called David Beckham. Ready, look, Rolo. Beckham, bend it, bend it. Oh, I just got schooled up by a dog. Right, Ethan. What? You know you want to call the horse Pablo? Yeah, because it's Spanish. No, because after Pablo, four nails. Yeah, so it's called we Pablo. We can call him Pablo, four now. Oh. It's really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually, it's not bad. It's, it's Pablo for now. <laughs> but it is Pablo. For now. <clears throat> Only guys, jump scare from the last day because you know, just woke up. I'm making the horses breakfast. So I thought I'd take you with me. It's really actually not that exciting because they literally just have soaked pony nuts at the minute because Callie gets a bit colicky um, and they're out on new grass. So they actually really don't need that much food. It's just something so they can have their vitamins and whatnot with. This was like vet recommended for Callie. So Callie has one scoop of pony nuts in her bowl and then I soak it and apparently the water just really helps with their stomachs. Yeah. That is for the shitlands. Gonna put in some garlic next. I literally don't really measure this, I just, it just helps with the flies apparently. Um, bad breath and all that. I don't know how true that is, might be an old wives tale, but we put it in anyway, so that's that. Then they have some chamomile flowers. Again, it's, it's good for like anxieties or whatever, so it calms them. Not that I think any of them are overly stressed, but listen, I love a chamomile tea every now and then, so why not? Brewer's yeast. It come with um, Pablo. I'm just going to give this to Pablo because he's used to it. And then we got 
fly free. The natural fly repeller. That goes in there. Linseed. We love that. Um, so we're going to put one for the big guys. And then just little drizzles for the Shetlands. There we go. Let's put some water. Let's let all this soak. Let's go get the ponies. We are at the field. And he is the only one looking. Oh no, Lorenzo's coming, bless his soul. Um, this is how I call my horses in. I've got a little little deer bell. Oh, cool. Uh, that's it. Can't do anything with my left hand. <gasps> Oops. Callie! Oh, she is a bloody nightmare. I think you and Lorenzo are first, actually. Like, Callie is actually so controlling. Hey, Lorenzo. Right, they are all in. Pablo could look a bit happier about it. There you go. Kelly, who has been causing absolute havoc, by the way. Kicking the door down, calling them. She's actually a wind up. She's by far the worst mannered, I think, out of all of them. Um, then we've got Lorenzo, just chilling. And then Dora, who has to have a high door. Yeah. There she is. <laughs> Here we go, your nose. She has to have a high door because she jumps out, so. All the steeds are in. That's it, the horses for this morning are pretty much done. Ethan wants a shower, so I'm gonna go back up to the house, let him have a shower while they're all having their breakfast, let their food go down and come back later and then maybe do some work with them. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Let them settle, let them have a rest, let them have their breakfast, and then we'll come back later. He's excited to go horse shopping. I'm coming for ham and ginger. You think I'm buying lunch? Oh, you have to. What? And if you buy the shopping spree? No. Doesn't sound like a fair deal. We have done our shopping and now we are in the cab playing with toys. Um, Daddy just spilled coffee everywhere. I tried a coffee that's just come out of the coffee machine at 100 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> burnt my taste buds. I said try it for me and it has literally just been made and burnt all of its mouth. Um, Like... Uh, da, da. While we're here, we may as well do a new car reveal because let's be honest, I'm not going to make the video. Whilst it's clean, wow, oh, blur the number plate, Mr. Editor. Wow. That's tall enough. Just because you can put it on the counter and survive, mine needs boxes for height. Come here right now, go back to back. Wait, stop. Come here, go back to back with me right now. Can't stretch out properly. Yeah. Perfectly matched, wow. Perfectly matched. Oh. <laughs> I think um, and Zola are all the same art laying down a later. Anyway, from the haul, I've got a brown numna and it is Lemu. Lemu. Because I just think Pablo will look good in brown. I've got this. It is a lunge cabison. So for his training, it kind of goes on like a little bit of a bridle and then you can clip your lunge line onto here and have him go this way, this way, or you can connect it to an actual bit that goes around their tummy, but I don't do that. I just put their saddle on it and then put lunge line on. I then got him a new girth because his belly is rather large and his girth that he's got now is rather small. I bought a head collar for the field, which is a baby blue colour, which I think is actually cute, and it doesn't really matter if he ruins it, to be honest with you. Well, it does. It does, Pablo, it does, but it's not the most expensive thing in the world, so. But I bought a head collar that I love. I love this one. Um, I actually wish I saw it when I was buying all of Callie's stuff. It's this, and I just thought it was really, like, fancy, because it's, like, all rope. I don't know, I just thought it would look nice. It's rope around the back as well. It would just look the business, you know, you know? Just a lunge line, but I like the ones with handles because I can also walk the dogs. A lunge line? I meant a lead rope. This is a lead rope. But yeah, with the handles, then I can actually walk the dogs with them as well. This is going to match the rope head collar. That's cute. A new brow band. I did actually want more of a yellow one, but they didn't have it. Anyway, that's my haul. Bit rude that it cost me £220, but it did, so that's fun. Anyway, I'm going to go lunge my horse. Walking to the stables. Such a long journey. Really getting my steps in. That is sarcasm. There's Lorenzo. Apparently everyone else is asleep. I generally think they are asleep or they've broken out. Hi Pablo. Oh look at his lip. This means they're relaxed, which is really cute. Let me see your lip, Baba. You see how it's like open? And Kelly. Yeah, she's asleep. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey Renzo. You've had a sleep as well, look. 
<laughs> I need whatever they're getting. Oh, you've been asleep as well. <laughs> Look at all the straw. Oh, you just wake up, girl. Yeah. Look at you. I'm going to check on Callie because she's not got on. Hey. gonna stop this vlog here until I know what's going on a bit. So Kelly is still lying down. Um, I haven't really got an answer with her yet, um, but I can't just call vet because she's making noises lying down because she can actually just be sleeping. Um, she's passing a lot of gas while she's lying down, so I don't think it's colic because she's not like frantically rolling, moving, or looking at her belly. She's just like dozing and nodding off so i'm hoping she's just asleep so i'm gonna go do stuff with pablo in the menage and then hopefully by the time i get back she's up and then if she's not i'll kind of monitor it on that because i'm hoping if i bring him out the stable she'll want to get up and have a look at that anyway so we'll see and what did i say look who's up because look who's out <laughs> i knew she'd do that she's too nosy well he was really really good to lunch i mean lazy of course however good so we're gonna take that as a positive. And he is sweating. Bet you've not sweat for a while, eh boy? Bet you've not been in proper work for a while. Look, that belly. Get you clipped, I think. Right guys, that is gonna conclude the vlog because this is the new horse. And yeah, I'm like, pretty happy with him. Needs free breaking in. Not really sure he's broken properly to ride. But yeah, like and subscribe guys. And if you want more videos with the horses, just let me know in the comments. Bye.